beautiful people welcome back to my youtube channel my name is Adeze Adwaka now before we get right into the topic of this video please if you haven't subscribed click on the subscribe button down below and also turn on the post notifications just so you see when I drop new videos I think one of the questions I'm being asked the most is the skincare products that I use on my skin but I'm here to tell you today that most times you don't even need a long range of products to achieve a clear and glowing skin and that's why in this video I'm going to be sharing basic tips on how to achieve a clear and glowing skin without skincare products there are things that we you know tend to ignore and just shave off and be like <laughs> doesn't really matter but darling they do matter now the first tip I'm going to be sharing today is for you to take your makeup off before bedtime I know sometimes you you know get so tired so exhausted after school or after work and only what you want to do at that time is to lie down and sleep I mean it happens to me sometimes too after a whole day's job I just want to come back home and relax and sleep off but darling that makeup you've had since morning you can't take it to sleep when you have makeup on on your face before bedtime and take it to sleep it clogs your pores and causes you to break out so try as much as possible no matter how tired you are when you're back from work or school to wipe off that makeup off your face if you're too tired to go to the bathroom to wash or cleanse your face you can just use maybe a facial wipe or a baby wipe on your face you can also add a little micellar cleansing water on it and wipe it off you can even stay on your bed and lie down and do it just get the makeup off your face before you sleep that's all you need to do now the second tip that i will be sharing today is for you to keep your makeup brushes clean sister when was the last time you washed your makeup brushes tell me uh, you're looking at me i'm talking to you when was the last time you washed your makeup brushes guys aside old makeup dirt sweat dust they all stay on our makeup brushes after we've done our makeup so it's always good for you to wash and keep your makeup brushes clean at all times now when all these things accumulate and then you take it and then take fresh makeup and put it back on your face and smear it all over your face girl it will cause you to break out seriously so you have to keep it clean at all times if you're the type of person who does makeup on a daily basis or you do it almost all the time wash it at least once a week twice a week you can always use um, a liquid soap or a makeup um, remover to take the makeup off your brushes just so you keep your skin looking clear and fresh it helps really trust me do this and thank me later the next tip i'm going to be sharing is for you to keep your face towels bed sheets and pillowcase clean and change them from time to time now our pillowcases and our bed sheets accumulate a lot of sweat a lot of bacteria and this can cause blackheads and breakouts all over your body and your face now another thing i want to share with us today is for us to always use silk or satin bed sheets or pillowcases now if you're someone who likes to sleep on the side and your face is always touching your pillow or your bed or anything you know it tends to cause friction between your skin and the fabric now but if you use a silky or satin fabric you know the, the friction is less you know and then when you use all those other kind of products like wool or very strong materials it causes you to have all this wrinkle it causes creases all over your skin you can even see like fine lines on your skin when you wake up it causes your skin to shrink and all of that so it's always good to use a, a silky or a satin fabric for your pillowcases and your bed sheet it's going to be nice and gentle on your skin trust me and remember i said keep them clean at all times and change them from time to time the next tip would be for you to drink a lot of water drinking water was so so hard for me but now i have made it a habit before once i just eat take one bottle of chewed coke or pepsi i'm fine i even forget that i do not drink water but i had to make it like a habit i had to always keep like a glass of water or a bottle of water close to me now although water does not you know have a direct effect on your skin now when you take lots of water it helps your body organs to function properly and that also helps you to you know eliminate lots of unwanted toxins and also decrease Increase inflammation in your body. Aside water, you can also incorporate water rich foods such as tomatoes, um, cucumber, watermelon in your daily diet. That would help you a lot. Your skin keep glowing, to be clear. Yeah, you don't need all the products in the world. Take 
enough water and the next tip i'm going to be sharing is for you to limit your exposure to the sun now 70 percent of what causes skin aging is the sun and it also causes skin cancer as well i'll give you an example one time i went to the market i had sunscreen i rubbed so fat so wanted let me pour the whole bottle on my body and on my face for my mind i'm guarded nothing will happen no shaking i went to the market and i came back eh half of my skin was black and the other side was now my skincare color. You can imagine the kind of effect the sun rays or the sun had on my skin. Try as much as possible to prevent the sun having direct contact with your skin. You can try to wear protective clothing, maybe hats, sunglasses to protect your eyes, very loose clothing, anything that can cover your skin and you still feel comfortable in before you step out of the house. The sun is very, very dangerous to your skin, even with sunscreen. So try as much as possible to reduce or limit your exposure or the exposure of your skin to the sun. The next tip I'm going to be sharing is for you to know your skin type. Some of us, once we see that one skincare product is working for one of our friends, we just, ah, sister, which skincare product are you using? Ah, okay, let me go and buy it. And then you use it and then you react to it. It gives you maybe rashes or stretch marks or know your skin type. It is very, very important. This will help you to determine the kind of ingredients that you should use, the kind of skincare routine and the products also that you should buy. Don't forget, it is very, very important to know your skin type, to be honest. Knowing your skin type will help you to know the best things or the best ways to keep your skin healthy. What works for you might not work for your friend. What works for your friend or your neighbor or your colleague might not work for you. So you have to know the kind of skin that you have. Is it oily? Is it normal skin? Is it dry skin? These are things that you should ask yourself and you should find out. Maybe you should go talk to a dermatologist or a skincare um, expert to find out the kind of skin that you have so you can know what works for you, darling. The next tip would be for you to exercise regularly. I know some of us are very lazy. Me, for example, I don't like to work out. <laughs> To be honest, it gets very tiring sometimes that you know you have to wake up and always work out. But I try to do the little that I can though. You know, sometimes on my bed I'll just you know do my hands like this, <laughs> like this. All of them are exercise of me. Don't mind me. Anyway, exercise can do wonders in maintaining and improving the health of your skin. Now, when you work out, it increases the rate of your heartbeat and also increases blood circulation which carries oxygen and nutrients to your cells. This also helps your skin to repair itself faster. So ladies and gentlemen, if you're watching, try as much as possible to exercise no matter how little. You can wake up from your bed, do you know, little push-ups, sit-ups, just something that can make you sweat, something that can make your heart beat faster because it really helps and your skin is going to look glowing and clear at all times. The next tip would be for you to watch what you eat. Try to curb your sugar intake as much as possible and embrace healthy fats like almond, cashews, mackerel, salmon, all of that. You need to have more of that in your daily diet. And also, you should load up more on antioxidants like vitamin A, vitamin E, anything that, you know, incorporates all those vitamins and essential vitamins in your diet, like fruits, vegetables, you need more of this in your diet. Try as much as possible to have, you know, fruits by your side when you eat and not vegetables in your food. This would help your skin a lot. It helps the skin repair. It helps in, you know, giving you that glow that you need for your skin. You don't need to buy all these products. Eh? Just take enough fruits, enough vegetables, load up more on, you know, healthy fats and all of that. And your skin will thank you, to be honest. Do that and thank me later. Now, the final tip that I would give you is for you to get enough sleep. I know in Nigeria, we are all hustling, everybody's hustling, no time, we are, we're always on the road, we're always working, trying to make that money, but sometimes we just need to rest, you know, we just need to, you know, distress. Resting helps, you know, to reduce fine lines on your face, wrinkles, you know, anytime you're always thinking, stressing, you have these wrinkles on your face, fine lines and all, you just, you age quickly, to be honest. Also, not sleeping well 
gives you this whole saggy eyes and dark onga eyes because you're not sleeping you're not resting i even notice it myself when i don't sleep very well when i wake up the next morning i'm having this you know saggy eyes and i'm always looking for you know what to apply what to use on um, under my eyes to you know make make it look better but when if i should sleep or if you know we should get enough rest as we are supposed to our skin will you know look so so much better because when we sleep that's the time you know all the whole nutrients in our body all the whole cells are working trying to repair itself trying to do what it's supposed to do you know flushing out what it needs to flush out you know making our skin look better so we should try as much as possible to get enough sleep eight hours a day i know it's not going to be easy but eight hours a day is fine you just need to rest and de-stress now if you enjoyed watching this video which i know you did please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and also if you haven't subscribed be cool click on the subscribe button down below and turn on post notifications i'm still your girl desi adwaka keep glowing bye